Alright guys, check this out. Today we have a really epic video because we have the latest Fierce Changes Massive Stretch Giga versus the Pseudoceratops. We also have Indoraptor versus Brachiosaurus and lots of cool stuff right here. At the same time, I'll be showing you guys the latest WoW Raw figures right here, okay? We'll be opening more of these trading cards, some of these eggs, and of course, I'll be showing you guys the latest figures. And of course, all the different figures related to this dinosaur transforming figures, okay? So let's get right into it. Hey guys, I'm Ted and welcome back to the Basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today we have the latest Jurassic World transforming dinosaur action figure, which is known as the Fierce Changes. They are able to transform from one dinosaur to another one, which is simply, simply awesome, okay? At the end of the video, I'll be showing you guys some updates of our latest plush figure as well as our Mosasaurus repaint, okay? So stay tuned, let's go! Alright guys, check out this setup right here. Hopefully you guys have already seen the latest Wild Raw figures, okay? But today is definitely going to be focusing on the latest Fierce Changes, okay? This is actually known as the Massive Stretch. Indoraptor and Brachiosaurus can actually transform from this to this, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the box. There are basically 16 steps for us to transform from the Indoraptor to the Brachiosaurus, so let's begin. I am very excited to see how we can actually transform this, so let's do this. Alright, let's cut the strings loose. Right here, there are two strings. Okay, let me just try my best to cut this as neatly as possible. Are the legs still tied to the bottom? I think so. Do we have to open up the box? I'm not too sure. Right, so I finally cut all the strings loose, but I think it is still stuck to the box. So let's try our best to pull it right out. Okay, we should be able to get it out. Yeah, there are plenty of strings still tied to his body, so let me just remove this. Alright, so first, we have the Endoraptor, which looks pretty good, I would say. It has a movable jaw, of course, the arms seems to be a little bit weird because they seem to be inverted. The tail can be extended, which is quite cool, and you're able to move it like up and down. The hind legs can be rotated as well, but you can clearly tell the colors are very different from the rest of the body. Okay, so let's try to transform this. I have no idea how this works, so we are going to trial and error with this. So let me just try to open this up. Wow, I can see the Brachiosaurus head is actually right here. So all we need to do is just flip it over. And um, I think we have to close, we have to keep the black tail as well, which belongs to the Indoraptor. Close it back, close it like this. And this part can also close it as well. And there you go. A very nice Brachiosaurus, I think. Did we get it right? I think so. Okay, I think we have to invert the claws as well. So keep the longer claws of the Indoraptor. Okay. And push the toe claws of the Brachiosaurus out. Wow. It's looking pretty good i would say but you guys know that the brachiosaurus actually has longer legs in front than the hind legs so this one may not be super accurate oh you can also pull out the claws from the front which is kind of cool so there you go we have the brachiosaurus right here okay very nice for each figure i've actually brought the equivalent so give me a minute all right, I've actually brought one Brachiosaurus just to do a comparison. Wow, you can also extend the neck of the Brachiosaurus. So I think this looks pretty good. Let's try to transform this back into the Indoraptor. I think it should be easily done. All you need to do is just push it back in like this, okay? Just push the head up into the other direction right here like this 
and we have to keep the head of the Brachiosaurus close the body it's pretty simple to be honest it's really really simple really easy to transform I think it, it is a pretty cool figure I would say all right now it's time for us to transform the toe claws as well all right we have to get the longer claws out like this push back the Brachiosaurus toe claw like this and extend the tail of the Indoraptor very cool of course these are actually the arms so they look kind of weird but there you go we have the Indoraptor right here with a movable jaw for the Indoraptor guess what I've brought guys basically the latest one and probably the best one which is known as the track and attack Indoraptor right here Right, of course, you guys have seen this before, but it's been a while. Okay, there is another function right here. You're able to move the tail. I don't think the neck will move along, but of course, you are able to move the arms as well. Yep. So that's our first figure of the day. Fierce Changer, Massive Stretch, Indoraptor versus Brachiosaurus. It's time for us to take a look at our second one. Shall we go with this? This is actually known as the Dauber Changer. So we actually have a T-Rex and an Ankylosaurus. Okay, I'm not too sure what this will actually trigger. You guys may want to scan this in your phone to see, you know, whether there are like cool star for you to play along with. Okay, so let's try to unbox this first. T-Rex versus Ankylosaurus. Let's open from the bottom. Okay, let's get this out. Wow, this one looks pretty good, I would say. Okay, so it's basically able to transform from a T-Rex to an Ankylosaurus, and both of them are actually in green. So I think this is pretty cool. So right now, we have basically the T-Rex. Is the jaw able to open? Let's try. Yep, pretty cute, I would say. Very nice detailing done, although I'm not a huge fan of um, the claws, the hands. Okay, for the Tyrannosaurus Rex, I've actually brought this one, which is the Extreme Damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. But stay tuned, because next week, we will have the latest Tyrannosaurus Rex that comes with a tracking gear. I can't wait to show you guys that one, okay? All right, let's try to transform this into an Ankylosaurus. I guess we have to open this part right here. Oh, there is still a string tied to its body. So let's try to remove them. Of course, you have to open up the belly as well. Okay, the, be the belly. Let's rotate the head. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's rotate the head. Seems to be stuck. Okay, there you go. And now for the tail. Oh, I've got the wrong side. Yeah, this is the tail. And let's close the body right now. Pretty easily done. And now for the legs. Let's transform the legs. The front legs first, followed by the hind legs. The hind legs, we definitely need to move them into a different direction. And you have to keep the claws, the toe claws of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's bend this into a more suitable position, I suppose. Let's try this. Okay. Wow. Looking pretty good. Let's try this. Is this how you do the Ankylosaurus legs? I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at, you know, the illustration. Yes, I think so. I think we've got it right. Just that we have to make sure, you know, we have to align the legs very, very neatly, as, as neat as possible. This part goes behind, and you move this part towards the front. So it looks good like this. So which one do you guys think I should be displaying? Should we be displaying, you know, the Ankylosaurus or should we display it as a T-Rex? I am more keen on displaying as a T-Rex. I want you guys to comment down below, okay? 
So for the Encolor Stars, I've actually brought this one right here which is um okay well i'm not too sure why the head of my ankylosaurus is so loose okay this is basically um the cam cretaceous ankylosaurus bumpy so so i basically brought this to do the comparison all right so right now we have endoraptor and brachiosaurus and t-rex and ankylosaurus which is pretty cool we shall take a break from the fierce changers and let's open one of this captive collection hatchlings right here which you guys are a huge fan of so i'm just gonna cut this little you know plastic film open it's a new one let's see what we will be getting okay so this is just pack of slime which i'll not be opening and this is basically the figure right here. Make a guess of what we will be getting. Hopefully, we can get an Indominus Rex. That will be nice. Let's try this. Oh! This is such a coincidence. Yes, I have just hoped for an Indominus Rex. And we really did get the Indominus Rex, which is pretty, pretty uh, miraculous and pretty cool. Indominus Rex collector's card right here. So it's named, it's known as the Untamable King, and the personality trait is basically intense, aggression, and intelligent. Awesome stuff. Let's move on back to the fierce changes. Maybe we shall take a look at some of the latest figures. I'm not too sure whether you guys have watched my previous video on the Thursday. We basically have the latest wave of the wild raws right here guys okay and what is this regali ceratops okay regali ceratops it's a ceratops shun which is closely related to the likes of triceratops diracosaurus and the likes of them and it's basically known as the royal horn faced right here we also have the latest irritator guys okay irritator wild raw pretty cool looking as well so irritator basically got this name when the paleontologists discovered its fossils and they were extremely messy so they were extremely irritated oh Arco raptor i have totally forgotten about the name the meaning of his name i told you guys to help me to remember so comment down below what does Oko raptor mean in the comment section okay all right next let's move on to more fierce changes figures let's do this all right guys let's have a look at the next one shall we take a look do we have any indominus rex i don't think so i don't think there is any indominus rex yeah probably there should be one did we not get the indominus rex i'm quite surprised um shall we open up the big one which is the giga oops the giganotosaurus and a pseudo ceratops i think this one is going to be epic let me just pick up all the mess that i have created so let's have a look at this giganotosaurus versus the pseudo ceratops which is known as the giant southern lizard we have to unbox this it is not going to be easy based on the previous figure because there are lots of strings for us to untie Okay guys, so this is basically the Giganotosaurus right here, which I think looks pretty good. Okay, it has a movable jaw and the teeth are actually very, very nice looking, made of very soft material, so they are not sharp at all. And you can see the tongue is nicely detailed. The face is very nicely detailed as well. The colors looks fantastic. And of course, when it comes to the arms, they look slightly weird because this definitely looks like inverted feet for sure of course it comes with longer toe claws as compared to the nasudo ceratops the tail can be extended as well which is awesome you can push it right back which is awesome as well so let's try to transform this into the nasudo ceratops let's do this okay so the head we have to rotate the head for sure just push it right in and um what about the tail I think we should also rotate the tail but we have to keep the tail first like this push it back in close the cover 
nicely done the bottom cover and now we have a beautiful not pseudo ceratops oh you still have to open up its frill which is kind of cool yep very nice this one has got to be the better one so far i think and now we have to move the legs as well transform the toe claws keep the longer ones okay the other side as well let's do this keep the toe claws bend it to an angle that looks more natural i think yeah there you go now pseudo ceratops looking pretty good i think the horns can also be extended which is kind of cool check this out yeah can push it back in like this and you can pull it right back up very very cool i think these figures are definitely going to be extremely popular with the little ones for sure what do you guys think i kind of like this one as well okay so for the nasudo startups actually brought this one you know i didn't bring the smaller one i brought the one at a battle at big rock so this is like a doer attack you know nasudo startups which looks pretty good but of course in terms of the colors they look totally different which is still fine okay what i'm gonna do right now is basically to transform it back to the giganotosaurus let's try let's try it's actually pretty simple to transform which is a good thing because there will be little kids trying to transform them so this is easy if they keep it easy it's definitely going to be um much more helpful for the later ones to play along for sure okay let's um transform the tail yep there you go it's really really simple to transform which is why i kind of like them yeah it's it's very fun to be honest but the toe claws are not easy to push them back out like this let's try okay so there you go we have the gigar back in action yep this is the gigar i like the gigar more should i be displaying the gigar or um nasudo ceratops let me know down below okay for the gigar i have brought the one and only strike and attack giganotosaurus which we have done one repaint so far okay this one we haven't seen this figure for quite some time okay it's still a wonderful figure i love it all right it's now time for us to move on to the next item the next item let's open one of these packs i'm trying to complete the entire set so let's try to open this hopefully we are able to get cards that we did not we, we do not have yet in our collection i think that will be helpful so let's have a look at this oh i definitely do not have this card which is dr henry Wu. very nice wow this one i'm not too sure if there is an osaurus this card i definitely do not have as well so this is a fantastic addition i don't think i have this one too which is great um this one i'm not exactly very sure but i may have this in my collection so very cool we do have a couple of cards that we do not have which is a fantastic thing how about now let's open another one of these eggs right here hopefully we are able to get um and a different one let's see the pack of slime which i'll not be opening let's open this little pack right here oh we've got a t-rex nice okay the t-rex looks very very adorable for sure check this out simply adorable and of course it comes with a little collector's card right here and it says king tyrant lizard or you can also call it the tyrant lizard king which is the same okay so yep that's our hatchling we only left one egg to be open you know for our future video so stay tuned for that okay next up let's have a look at this one baryonyx 
and parasaurolophus. And speaking of parasaurolophus, we do have an Imagine Next XL parasaurolophus right at the back. Okay, let's rip this open. I didn't open this cleanly, which is why it's in a, a very messy state, the box. Let's get this out. Okay, guys. Next week, I'll be showing you guys the latest Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Lego Dinosaurs, which I'm pretty excited about. So, what do we have right here? Baryonyx, guys. Let's try to... Yep, it has a movable jaw. So, very nicely detailed. You can see it has a very crocodilian-looking face. Awesome stuff. Okay, there's a, there's a couple of strings to be... There's one string to be untied. Okay, there you go. Nice. These are basically the arms. And here you have the long toe claws. So it's time for us to transform it into... What is that? Parasaurolophus. Okay, so let's try this. Flip this open. Why is it not opening? Now for the other side. Alright. Okay, it's kind of like stuck. I have no idea why. Let's try this again. Yep, there you go. Parasaurolophus out. And the tail, we also have to flip it over as well. Now we can close the covers. Very, very easily done. It's very fun as well. It's very, very easy to um, transform, which is a fantastic thing. Because I think the majority of the people buying these figures will be little kids for sure. I'm a little kid as well. I'm always a kid at heart. And I love Jurassic World dinosaurs. So, yep. So there you go. Parasaurolophus. You beautiful. Parasaurolophus is basically known as the near crested lizard. You guys should be quite familiar with, with it, right? So Parasaurolophus, I've actually brought this one, which is one of our latest one. Okay, pretty cool. This is actually from, you know, Jurassic World Dominion. Okay, next up. Okay, before we take a look at another Baryonyx, have you guys seen this? Nigesaurus. Okay, it is a sauropod discovered in Niger. Nigesaurus. You can actually pronounce it as Nigesaurus on, on Nigesaurus. Yeah, it's a beautiful armored sauropod. You can see it has plenty of like pebbling skin texture on its body, which is like spikes and thorns. Okay, and all this skin texture is actually known as osteoderm. Yeah, they have a very tough osteoderm. Okay, next, let's try to transform this back into um, the Baryonyx again so that I can show you guys quickly one baryonyx figure okay let's transform the head back first easily done this is actually very very fun and it can be transformed so easily yeah it's not frustrating because you guys know i i am not a huge fan of um you know figures that a lot that requires a lot of assembly yeah i don't really have the patience for that but this one it's very very simple and you can see it's very nice looking i'm definitely going to display it as the baryonyx okay do you guys what do you guys think okay i'm gonna be um showing you guys the baryonyx that i have brought i basically brought this one which i think is also from the camp cretaceous series very nice baryonyx right here all right next up shall we open up another trading card Pack right here before we take a look at the Parasaurolophus. I'm trying to keep things as fresh as possible. I don't want to be showing you guys, you know, the same stuff, similar stuff repeatedly. You guys might be bored. Wow, I definitely do not have this, so I'm very happy to um, finally found this. This is really good. This one, I think we already have it. You can see there's like T-Rex. Um, very nice. Water class, flying class. I'm not too sure. Maybe we don't have it. This one, 100%. I do not have this. 
wow this pack is really good i don't have many of the um, you know many of the designs this one i definitely do not have this is basically the kitchen scene from jurassic park very nice wow this one i definitely do not have yeah very very nice i love it all right so it's time for us to move on to the next figure which is the imagine next xl paris roller first which i think you know maybe has some lights and sounds let's cut the strings loose right here is there another string below i don't think so but i think i think there is let's try to get it out yeah there's one more right here so yep i can definitely hear the bellows of the paris or water first so let's get this out let's take a look at the box first guys and um this figure will be displayed right on top right on top there are a couple of um you know imagine next xl figures right there so i'll definitely be displaying it along with the rest and i love this wow i think it's able to light up guys let's have a look at this let's turn off the lights okay let's press the button wow this is awesome you can see the lights glowing from the crest and the eyes and it's in very very nice shade of purple color so this is definitely very very cool okay let's remove um, the strings right here awesome stuff i think so far this has got to be the best xl figure yeah from the entire series for sure all right let's move on to the next figure let's go with um t-rex and ankylosaurus did we did we get the same one no i don't think so i think um it's a different version with a different color yeah it definitely looks different you can see the legs are different in color um we can do a comparison later on let's um open this for sure so they actually produced two different t-rex so this is the t-rex right here i'm gonna be transforming this back into um a t-rex to do the comparison let's try this all right let's try to um change this as fast as possible okay yep they are two different t-rex guys two different color variants not too sure why they have done that because i don't think this is this is necessary i would definitely prefer um to have a different species instead of a different color variant of a same species yeah that's kind of boring to me but it's okay it's okay okay so this is the new one so let's transform this back into the ankylosaurus let's transform it into an ankylosaurus is it stuck okay yep there you go this one is slightly more difficult than um, the rest I have no idea why maybe I put it in the wrong way let's try this again yeah this one definitely it's definitely not going down yeah let's try the other direction instead oh dear yep this way yeah we finally got it so there you go 
the ankylosaurus of course you have to keep the toe claws yep so i think for this we can actually display one we can display this as um, a t-rex and probably this one as an ankylosaurus i think that will be pretty good so that we have um, two different species to to display okay next up let's open up another one of this pack right here guys okay hopefully we're able to get new designs again i definitely do not have this one for sure because i've never seen it so far this one is a very cool one i definitely have this sticky moloch um dracorex i beg your pardon this one we already have it this one i'm not too sure but yeah very cool i love all these trading cards i'm a huge collector of cards to be honest with you okay next up i'm gonna be showing you guys three new figures relatively new figures the dino trackers gigantic trackers elasmosaurus i rate this as one of the best figures in 2023 do you guys agree with me let me know down below okay so this is basically the elasmosaurus i think this is a really really beautiful and well done figure next i'm going to be showing you guys the other figure from the same series which is the bistar heversaur i think they have done a really good job with this figure because it has retractable spikes right here which is simply awesome and the other one basically moves the neck as well as the jaw so this is also from the dino tracker series and um another two more new figures not too sure whether you guys have seen this from the um strike attack series we have the green atrociraptor which is a new color variant yep very cool it is not one of the far famous atrociraptors such as ghost panthera tiger and red and the other figure that i want to show you is basically this one right here guys this is the um gigan spinosaurus yeah gigan spinosaurus it is not related to a spinosaurus at all but yeah the name seems to feature a spinosaurus in it our last figure of the day which is the conotaurus we have to open this one up for sure let's get this out of the way conotaurus wow this one looks very cool because you can even see the plates of the stegosaurus right below and yep right here we have the meat eating bull of course it comes with the string that we have to remove it right now let's try to remove it in case that you guys don't know i'm actually having a soft throat and um flu ever since i was in um, japan because mrs dan was actually she fought she fell ill when we were in japan and and the the entire family got infected as well she's fine now but right now i'm like the 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 one who's being affected right now but i'm i'm fine i'm, I'm still fine just that my throat is slightly sore okay so this is the conotaurus pretty cool looking i would say all right nicely detailed the horns on top of his head seems to be a little bit Shot, but still look pretty good. So for the Conotaurus, I've brought, you know, you guys should know. The epic attack battle chomping. Is it battle chomping? Battle chomping Conotaurus. Really, really beautiful figure. Of course, can rotate the tail as well. You can't move it up and down. It's basically using the same sculpt as the Control and Concur Conotaurus, but you know, I, I feel this is way better than um, the previous Conotaurus that were released. Alright guys, so yes, let's transform this into the... I can't remember. Stegosaurus. Let's try this guys. Let's try to transform this into a Stegosaurus. Okay, let's try. Right, 
close it. This time we got it. Caught this one. This seems to be pretty easy this time. Okay, you have to keep the toe claws of the counter This one doesn't seem to be closing very well, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be closing well. Yeah, there you go. Okay, pretty cool. You have to rotate, you know, the hind legs over here. I don't think they will be able to stand very well. Yeah, there you go. Stegosaurus. Pretty nice color scheme, I would say. Gray with a bit of red and a bit of olive green on top. And you can clearly see the four spikes at the end of the tail, which is known as the um, Stegomizer. Okay, for the Stegosaurus, I have brought the latest one which is also from the Dino Trackers series right here. I think this is a fantastic figure. All right, now we are down to our last item of the day, which is another pack of um, the JP 30th Anniversary card. So let's try to open this. Let's see what we can get. Probably something rare would be nice. Um. This card, I have no idea. Perhaps we don't have it. This one, I'm not too familiar. So maybe we don't have this one as well. This one, we definitely have it. T-Rex versus Indominus Rex. This one, for sure, we already have it. Atrociraptor, nope, I don't think so. And this one is definitely not in my collection yet. So pretty happy that we are going to add a few more cards to our collection, guys. All right. So now I'm going to be showing you guys some updates, okay? So, yep. In our next few videos, you'll be getting to see... We get to see this. You know, this Indominus Rex Mashems. You know, from the very, very old Jurassic World movie. We have some Jurassic Park figures still. Um, you know, vintage Jurassic Park figures. But I'm not too sure whether to unbox them or not. We have the... Brachiosaurus right here and you can see there is a box right over there which contains all the different Lego Jurassic World figures um, we'll be doing the unboxing next week but I'll not be assembling the set for sure okay for sure um, any up any more updates okay the other updates is that our plush figure is actually ready maybe in our next video I'm gonna be showing you guys a preview of our very own Dan Surprise Tyrone the Tyrannosaurus Rex plush figure, okay? I designed it, I made it, and I'm super proud of it. It's super adorable. And um, I'll try to complete the Mosasaurus repaint as well. So next week is going to be exciting. You are going to see Lego Jurassic World figures. You're going to be seeing my plush figure. You're going to be seeing, you know, this transforming dinosaurs again. You'll be seeing um, this Indominus Rex, some of these vintage figures, you'll be seeing the Mosasaurus repaint. So next week is going to be very, very exciting. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you, you know, subscribe. Um, turn on the notification. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Facebook. I'm pretty active over there as well, okay? And if you guys want like a customized video, of course, you are welcome to request for a personalized video just for yourself. Go on to the About Us tab on our channel. There's a link right there. Click on it and you can just place a request for a video from me, especially to you. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.